and then we may be streaming hopefully on youtube um, <laughs> YouTube's I, i'm sick. looking at your youtube and uh it's not, it's not it, it'll take oh. it'll take a sec yeah, yeah. Like... yeah, you're live on YouTube. I'm live on YouTube. Okay, that's like Yeah, we are live on YouTube. Yeah. I'm just already it, okay. okay, yeah, yeah, there I am. Hello. All right. The other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to 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 mention it on Twitter. So that's a thing that's okay. gonna happen now. Oh man. Okay. Oh they noticed my egg form. <laughs> Smiley face. And then I made the tweet. Smiley face. And I'm even okay. I'm even gonna mess mention it on my Discord. I mentioned it on mine because well my, some people might want to see me here, so yeah. I did that. I'm doing the stream now, smiley face. Oh hey, and guess what? According oh, to well. M E E six bot, I am now level seven. On my server. I'm a mod on your server, but I'm never in there. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I understand. Is it really okay? Sorry, I'm adjusting my microphone a little no bit. No worries. It's okay, even I'm not on there. <laughs> yeah, You're not I, anywhere. I, yeah, I try to limit my public appearance like a good girl. Mm -hmm. I, I Maple's lucky you. to have me in a server. I should leave soon. <laughs> um, so... Hello, hello everyone. Um, hello, yeah. hey, hello, Milton of Milton's Milton's. Hello, Eve Rezzo. Hello, Mola Mola. Hello, Cesis. Hello, Jacob Cole. Hello, uh, M O R Q. Hello, Fritz. Hello, so Silent. Many people. Hello, uh, everyone. Yeah. Hello, Moe. Hello, Moe. Hi, hello, Moe. Sweet Roll. Hello, Stedos. Hello, Deet. Hello, um, did I say hello to everyone? Just hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah, hello, everyone. I'm sorry if I missed anyone, but hello. You're all, all everyone consider yourself having been said hello to. Hola, Pancho. Um, <laughs> Who's calling me Pancho, please? No. Okay. Th there probably is a delay in chat. Yes. Um, 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 so, so today's stream is about, is about getting started as a VTuber. Um, and uh, I don't know exactly how this is going to go, but I had an idea of how it was going to go. So we'll see. We'll see if my idea and the reality match up. So basically, <laughs> I, I thought it we could like s sort of do it in chronological order, like from like the very first phase of, I guess, doing VTubing to the uh, to, to, to like the actual the making of stuff. Um, yeah, to the T. Yeah, and like the first phase of it would be noticing that Dippy is taller than the rest of us. And then... so uh, I'm I'm gonna start. Oh well, no, no. Uh, so the the first the first phase is basically um, deciding what exactly like you wanted to do as a VTuber. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like, good. like Deed said, have an idea of what you want to do as a contract creator. Like, mm -hmm. for example, yeah, one of the driving forces for me was I wanted to make skits. Um, you, yeah, I think, I think, well, actually, you, why, why don't you say what, what was like one of the first things you thought about when you thought about wanting to become a VTuber? Like, what, what was the thing that you wanted to do? Uh, the first for me is mainly because uh, I like the gaming, and uh, I want I wanted to entertain people and show off my skills. But at the same, time, uh, but it seems that I'm just showing off my feelings, and people are enjoying it. So it, it works out for me, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. The mm -mm. That's the spirit. Everyone can see my feelings. Yeah. Nah. But, <laughs> yeah. but another thing. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Another thing you really wanted to do was uh build a community like I, that was one of your big goals going into it yes uh in in a sense you might think um it's one of the biggest goals was actually to create like a community of uh content creators and people that could support each other and also a place that they could like in a sense call a virtual home because 
we can like you know constantly have people there to interact with mm-hmm. and uh play games with together you know yeah and like um um i i think i think a lot of this is um going to be like this this initial phase of thing is often the same whether or not you want to be a vtuber or a streamer or or a youtuber like the first thing you have to do is kind of decide uh as d said regardless of mm-hmm. if you're virtual enough you ca- gotta kind of have to decide yeah. what it is My that you want here. To do. But yeah, basically, like you gotta kind of decide what kind, um, the kind of things you want to do as a content creator. You kind yeah. of go about it mindlessly. Uh, basically, have a direction for yourself. You know, if you have no direction, then you know you could go. You didn't bring them. Bring yeah, what the sideways or sidetrack, then you no, wouldn't no, know where you're much. going. So ideally, uh, have a specific direction on what you want your content to be, and then you just go for it. <clears throat> and then improve as you slowly like uh, build it up. Mm-hmm. Hello, Argama. Thank you for the banana. It's the moon. That's a, but it's a moon. <laughs> it's a moon. It's a moon. It's a moon. Oh. <laughs> I wanted a Sorry, banana. Man. You know what I have? So, I have a Toberone part. Can I give my opinion on this? Yeah, yeah, please do. <laughs> Look. The first thing, as with most things, as Yui said, as pretty much everyone has been saying, is that you need to know what the hell you want to do. I mm-hmm. mean, you can be a banana VTuber if you want, a strawberry VTuber, like an animated character, like Annoying Orange, for example, just to give you just one character that is non-human, that is virtual in a sense. I'm not, I'm not memeing here. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. You have to know what kind of content you want to make. For example, you want to make skits. So that's why you're going with this childlike character. Yeah. Ju is going with the gamer one. Mm-hmm. And you have to know how you have to have a plan, at least in your head, how to stick to it. Yeah. That's the first thing you need to do. You need to know. And because you can be like, I'm just gonna give one example with just stepping on any two toes. For example, you're just gonna be like, Hi, my name is Luna. I'm, uh, for example, just one name. My name is Mooney or whatever. I'm a VTuber. I'm cute. And look, look at my videos. And then they f- freaking die in one month or six months or one year. They only make one video and they give up because all their neurons, their their neurons, creative neurons, their creative juices run out the second they were, were like, oh, I actually have to make videos. I actually have to keep up the character. I have to keep up with the personality. I have to keep up with the schedule at least. Some content, some idea of what I want to do. If you don't have an idea of what you want to do, you won't be able to do anything. Mm. <clears throat> no, that's, that's just my that's just how that's just how I see it. That's the first step. You have to know what the hell you want to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fine if you if if it morphs in time, like if if it goes on and on, like for example, if you were some sort of like school president, for example, school uh, school council president, and then you become a total drunk degenerate in the end because that's what you are. It's fine because you will get to know your community. Uh huh. You had you have to find out what 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 takes with you, mm. what makes it funny. We have Yui and her um, challenges, you know? Uh, uh, yeah, I yeah. know. Look, look, Yui, you started really like a super gamer, like all that. And then we started having so many memes with you. I mean, I have fun with you, but the memes can get a little bit mean sometimes, but you roll with them. And that's what uh-huh. makes your community stick together. Uh-huh. And that's yeah, fine. That's yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's not my day. It's um, fine. Can I can I add to that too? Yeah, go ahead. So you're you're I think you're right in that you gotta have kind of like a firm idea of what you wanna do. Like it can change over time, but you have to have that that base idea. But there also has to be the component of, of why it is you wanna do this. Cause like to use myself as an example, because it's the easiest way for me to do it. The reason why I, I wanted to make skits was because I like creative writing 
and this yeah. seemed like an opportunity to exactly. do creative writing and that was kind of the driving force and that's what's helped me stick with it for a year because i've i've loved to do i've loved creative writing for as long as i can remember so the fact that i'm doing creative writing for another year on top of that isn't particularly different for me it's just a different way of doing it um and so yeah. like if you get into it with that mindset of like I'm doing this because this is something I'm passionate about or I'm doing this because this is something I'm interested about, you're much more likely to be able to stick with it. Thank you, Yuya. Uh, yeah. Yuyu, rather. Thank you. Um, so, so, it, like, it, it doesn't have to be, like, specifically the same as my thing, obviously, like, a lot of people do a lot of different things, but the important thing is to not just find something you want to do, but to also like know why you want to do it. And the most ideal thing is you want to do it because you you get enjoyment out of that. Because if you get enjoyment out of that, you're much more likely to stick with it. Um. Yeah. For example, in my case, I started out because it was well, well this phenomenon is really freaking easy. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can teach myself by talking to people, getting knowledge from some other people. For example, Deed. You have no idea how much I fucking nagged him to teach me some stuff. Mm -hmm. To help me with some stuff. Maybe I can make some videos and fucking stay in this for three months, maybe. Mm -hmm. And look at me, I'm gonna be... Look at my channel now, I mean... I didn't expect this to grow. Mm. Because, well, you, you start developing some fun. You made him... Okay, thank you, Dad. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I was, uh, as you know, I actually work. I have a professional degree. I work in the industry, mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, I'm I'm gonna work with with this all my life. I'm just gonna go six to four p.m., six a.m. to four p.m. all my fucking life, and I'm just gonna do that, live like a normie. No, I want to do something creative. Why? I have more talent than this. Just, I, I, I'm not just some fucking Excel warrior. So I'm going to learn something new, make something creative, get some people on board, and see what happens. Yeah. And well, I'm here talking to you using this weird language. Mm. And, <laughs> and yeah, I think that's kind of similar Yeah, that's to pretty me. much it. Because like, I, I, I have a job as well. Um, and my job involves writing, but it's not it's not the type of writing I love the most. It's writing I do love, but like I really love creative writing and I don't really get to do it's... the storytelling writing that I wanted to do in my job. Yeah, so because... this is like something that allows me to do that. So this is like in a way an escape. I'm gonna look at the chat. Mola Mola, I'm studying stud oh, to be an excellent God. worker. Mm -hmm. Well, Guess what? All the stuff that you're studying right now will go to the shitter because all you will do is analyze the concepts that you learned on school, then pass that, type that down like on Excel, put some formulas, and that's it. Mm. You send a report, and that's your day. Yeah. And yes, if I, as Steve says, there are some people that just want to stream, and that's fine too. Like, if yeah, you enjoy yeah. streaming, then then that's the same thing. Like, that's it can be as simple good... as I want to be a VTuber because. I want to stream and like I, I like the idea of having a virtual avatar as opposed to uh, no avatar or as opposed to face rig. So it could be it could absolutely be as simple as that if that's what you want to be. Yeah, it there's doesn't... also no... go ahead, mm. go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I, I was gonna say like uh, like Deet said, there doesn't have to be a deeper me meaning to it. Like there, do you don't have to justify why you're a VTuber, it's just helpful to have like an idea of what exactly you want to do and why you want to do it before before moving on to any other step. And and like the why of like, I want to do this because I think it'd be fun is like reason enough. You don't need like anything beyond that or because I want to try this because this sounds interesting to me. Um. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You, you. This is like uh, an ability for me to be creative. Uh, so that's what this is f 
for me, but it doesn't have to be that for anyone else. Like, VTubing, the, kind of the nice thing about VTubing is it's a very diverse thing. It's basically any type of contract creation you want it to be with, like, an anime model slapped on top of it. So, yeah. So whatever whatever is available to a normal content creator largely is also available to a VTuber. It's just, like, a... I guess in a way a different branding of it. That... It's a mask. In a way, yeah, yeah. It's a mask. Hmm. And that's a good thing about this because not all people feel comfortable showing their face on YouTube. Hmm. Or people there don't feel they don't want people to know what they look like. Hmm. For a myriad of reasons. That's fine. Yeah. You wanna yeah. have a new start, you wanna have something that you can like Make from the ground up without people knowing who you are. Well, it doesn't even have to be uh, a matter of like wanting to hide your face. It could also just be you like you like anime characters or you like anime and you like the idea of representing yourself yeah. as an anime character. Or like yeah, that's it. Yeah. In my, in my case, like a big part of the reason for it was because, given that I wanted to do skits, it made more sense to have like an actual physical character that I could work with. As opposed to, like, if I was to film with an actual camera uh, against a green screen, I don't, I don't think it would make for as good of a skit as as it is with like an animated character. Um. Yeah, and and as Paul says, sometimes playing a character is fun. Yeah, and it also has less repercussions than you in real life because mm -hmm. it's easier to just make a character. And people will make memes of that instead of your real face. Mm -hmm. So you won't be, you won't have that inconvenience. Like it, all you have to do is just turn off your phone, uh, turn on your PC, and you're not that character anymore. You're just you in real life. And that's you on the internet. That's why being virtual is good. Yeah. You can be anyone you want. You can present yourself as you want people to see you. And you can this, do something better. For you, at least, uh, for you to be yourself. Sometimes people cannot be themselves in real life, so they go with this. It's way easier. Hmm. Um, Moe, was there anything you wanted to add to like the, like the concept phase or like this this kind of portion of like? You mean you, you mean my upbringing in regards to this? Because mine was actually way different. Um, at the beginning, I didn't even know what a VTuber was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I started YouTube as like purely as a hobby mm -hmm. and escapism. And then I, I just slowly started figuring out what it was, but I didn't really like know about the community or watch anyone. I just wanted to be an anime girl. That was, yeah. that was it. Yeah. Just, just give me... Pretty dresses and Lewis and anime boys. Yeah, and that and that can be reason enough. You know, ultimately, all you need is you need a, a desire harem. to want to be with you, Lewis. <laughs> yes, my yeah. my harem. Yeah, you can be anyone. If you want to be on YouTube, you can be on YouTube. If you want to be on Twitch, you can be on Twitch. If you want to be on Iwata, you can be on Iwata. If you want to be on Pornhub, you can be on Pornhub. You can be anything. It's fine. But but you can also kind of tie into what Moe said. You can also, like, start off, like, in just a general kind of uh, content creation and always go to VTubing later if you decide you want to. It doesn't have to be an either-or thing. Or you can do the opposite. You can start as a VTuber and decide, you know what, the, the avatar isn't really for me. Um, you know, maybe I, maybe I like the other things. Maybe I want to do other stuff instead i knew people will react to that yeah. <laughs> say, sorry um uh yeah uh you you was there anything else you wanted to say about this part of it oh uh, yeah i already said in chat but basically um i feel that uh being a vtuber allows more like uh freedom in terms of content creation because i feel that there are only certain things you can actually pull off being an anime person uh, is the, uh, as compared to being a actual IL person, see? So, so basically, it's like, um, I mean, 
like that movie for you. Everyone loves you and regards you as the cutest. Shut up, boy. They cannot move it. Yeah, but, but then you see, let's just say that it was an other person. The kind oh, yeah, of meme and worried. content is actually more limited because of how it looks. You know. So, what? so I feel that being an anime character allows really the kind of freedom that you want to push for in your uh, image and content. <laughs> Like going at assess this puzzle. Shh, but fuck, shut the hell up. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Me. basically, yeah. That's, that's just basically it. That's what, that's just what I'm saying. Just, I'm kind of... Yeah. Mm-hmm. You are not limited by your mortal body, you know? Yeah. And yeah, kind of related to that, like... Uh, like, when I first started with Penning, like, I didn't... Ha- I didn't have as fleshed out of a concept of what Penning would become as I eventually did. So part of what I wanted to do when he went, when I made the transition to 3D was make Penny look significantly younger. Cause like the original 2D Penny model looked more or less like an older teen or young adult. And, but I was, but I found myself portraying him as, as being very childlike. So it felt like there was a big disconnect between what the character had become and what the character looked like. So because he's a virtual character, I had the freedom to like update his look to make him look uh, like like Molly says. Pending is supposed to have the mental age of roughly a ten year old. Technically, he's almost one year old because of when he was activated. But basically, he's ten years old. Um, so yeah, and that gave me the ability to do it. The fact that he's a virtual model. Pending is Benjamin Bottom. Yes, I agree. Yeah, well, p- yeah, pending, pending <laughs> is, pending's Benjamin like Button. canon height is four eight, but but like for practicality sense uh, sake, a lot of the times there's inconsistency as to how tall he is compared to how tall other people are. Like for example, right now Moe is like about three inches tall, I guess. <laughs> Hello, I'm an egg. Yes. Egg. You came out, Amiko. <clears throat> okay, sorry about that. Oh, gross. Uh, okay, bye. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bye. No. Oh, yeah, bye. Mm-hmm. Bye. No. No, I'm only stay. Just... Oh, I'm still here. <laughs> okay. Uh, sink. Uh, Nito. So, yeah, I think that's... I think that's everything... That has to do with like the initial like concept. Is there anything else anyone wanted to say about this part of VTubing before we move on to the next part? Just be safe. No. Okay. All right. The next part is the part that no Moe's not leaving. I was joking that Moe was joking. She's not going in. Okay. Bye. No. (laughs) It's fine. Yeah. Um. Uh, so the the next thing is, let's say you have you have an idea of what you want to do, um, you have an idea of why you want to do it. Um, then the next thing you need to do, well, actually, I forgot one thing of concept is, is kind of like, well, I, no, we pretty much touched on it. Like, assuming you want to be a VTuber, exactly what kind of VTuber you want to be? Like, what what do you want to look like? Do do you even want to be like a a human VTuber, or do you say want to be a bird or an orange or or whatnot? Uh, but but assuming you've you've gone through all that, the, the next obvious thing is the uh, tech that you need, and it's not necessarily too complicated. But there are a lot of options, and uh, Deed's in the chat, and he knows a lot about this, and um, uh, Dippy knows a lot about this as well. Um, all because of him, but yes, yes, Dippy learned a lot from Deed. Deed is kind of like the the My dad. papa of like English speech. My English. dad. Yes. Yeah, and Dita also did make a video about this. So a lot of this information is stuff that you can also find in Dita's video about the, the tech of VTubing. Um, uh, yeah, Vroid is free. Um, and with Vroid, you can make a pretty good model. Um, there are limitations to Vroid, obviously, but it's uh relatively user friendly and like you said it is free um and oh i got a ding and i don't know what the ding is for uh oh 
Oh, I got a follow. Uh, I assume that's a follow on Twitch. <laughs> but thank you for the follow. Um, 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 well, oh, Blender is free too, but Blender is harder to use. Um, you can make a square and then exit the program. Yes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> or, or you can be like me and you can be in Blender while crying to Deet that you don't understand what what's happening as Deet like tries to just get you to assign the bone so that you can leave Blender and move on to Unity. Yeah, so, high skin cab. Do you want uh, me to expand on this whole how to be a B2 work yes. pretty much? Uh, I'll just quickly answer Tara's question first. Um, uh, pending was made in Vroid. I, uh, I don't know the details of it. Uh, Katsumi made my uh, model. And, and, and Dippy, y y yes, uh, you can go so, into that stuff. Back in the day, it was easier to commission someone or do it yourself, like just section uh, a drawing on Photoshop or Sai or whatever, and then export that to Live2D. And then you could use Face Rig. Pretty much everyone was doing Face Rig. But as technology advanced, like VTuber technology, is, that's what I'm going to call it. Mm -hmm. um, advance so quickly and then ways to m use character creators like Beroid came out people decided well i want to be 3d mostly like this vtuber or that vtuber or that one that i saw that other day or i want to use something that i use on vr chat that's why a lot of vr chat people have made the jump to vtubing because well they already have an avatar they can commission people they know people they network around or they can just use a Vroid one because it's easy to make one or commission one. They are usually cheaper because they're just like a character editor on steroids, pretty much at this point. Because you can make a base, you can just adjust uh, stuff with sliders and then you can draw your textures as you want. You can draw your hair as you want and you pretty much have an avatar. If, if you're dedicated enough and you're good with technology and you get the case of Vroid, you can get one in like a week tops. Mm -hmm. But that's just your character. You already have your idea. You have your character. You have your model or your live 2D. If you're live 2D, you're just going to use face rig or the live 2D extension, and that's it. You're going to be that just a moving anime character. You will be limited, but it's the fastest way. At least it was before. But with 3D, you have the limitation that you need virtual reality. And virtual reality, as we know, can go as for as low as six hundred dollars right now, mm. just to do bit tubing. There is a lot of uh, tools. Did made one tool based on some request that he had once, and then he made it free for everyone. I was one of the beta testers, pretty much, nagging him all the time. That's why I learned how to use this stuff with my with my uh, virtual can, reality can I headset. Ask, uh, you something? Go ahead. Uh, so so let, let's let say because i've asked you about this before but it makes sense to ask it in the in in the ch chat um let's say you do want to get like some kind of vr because you want like the uh, yeah, that, that's, more advanced that's what motion I was... capture uh what kind of vr should you be looking at because like the the two that are that are pretty known is vive and oculus but i imagine at least at least me going into it, I don't really understand the Well, difference. there is the perception neuron, which is a bodysuit, pretty much a jumpsuit, mm -hmm. that has a bunch of um, indu yeah. induction magnets. Yeah, no. Induction magnets, uh, sensors that act as positioning stuff for your setup. Mm. So mm. this... Uh, the, the tech is very is very complex. It's just a, just a, a, a jumpsuit with, with sensors. Mm. And that will have you need to make something in Unity to read all your motion, then port it to something like a is, virtual scene. Is that is that one? It is, oh. Yes, it is complex. I know someone that has that technology mm. on this community. And yes, it's very expensive, like 2K, 2.5K mm -hmm. bucks, United States dollars. Uh, right. Yeah, Kisuna, I, yeah, Kisuna I used, to, used to use that. So that but still, it's... So without it has its, um, becoming yeah, a business, that's like the the highest end you can 
get to. Potentially. You can't, but the, also the technical hurdles that you have to get to it are very high because apparently this doesn't really have much technical support. Like you have to know what you're doing actually with that because those are used for actual 3D mocap in studios. Right. Not for B tubing as well. Right. The most commercial solution will be using a Vibe or, a, or an Oculus and using the HTC Vibe trackers. Mm -hmm. But yes, VR, VR chat supports like your two controllers, your headset, and three sensors. For example, this solution supports up to seven trackers on, on top of your controllers and your and your headset. Mm. That's just for full body mo motion capture. And that's the expensive way. The least expensive way is that was what you guys use most of the time, which is lip, uh, lip what motion. Was it? Lip, it, lip motion, yeah. Well, we, lip so, so what a lot of people use is Luppet in conjunction with Leap Motion. Luppet is yeah. essentially a very... It, it costs about $50. Um, and what it is, is it's, it's a very user-friendly way to, to plop in a 3D model and film with the 3D model. Um, yes. So that, like, the pending skits are made uh, using Luppet. Uh, I, I have... Uh, pending films with a green screen or actually right now it's pending gets filmed with a yellow screen uh, because of its color scheme and then yeah you, you can chroma key out the it but we'll, okay. we'll get to that so later. yeah 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 so full body motion is expensive but it's the most uh, the one with the most fidelity to what you want to do in vir in virtual space because you will you will be moving your body pretty much mm -hmm. and you will get that movement replicated with a lot of technical issues, but you have to get those over as, as you get used to the sensors, you get used to the technology itself, to the program. You have to, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a small learning curve, but you will, you will have to get through that. Hmm. So that's one, that's one option. Can I the other something? option, go ahead. I'm pretty sure I already know the, the answer to this, but just to confirm. Yes. So obviously, Luppet has Leap Motion support, and I don't know if we've already said what Leap Motion is, but basically, what Leap Motion is, it's a webcam. Is it's this like USB looking thing that you can put on, say, your chest. It's a little uh, hard to put it on your chest, but but in theory, you could put it on like your chest or somewhere, and it's got a little sensor on it so it can track your arms and hands and fingers. So it doesn't give you full body motion, but it gives you uh, what is essentially limited upper body motion. Yes. Um, what you're using, what you're using is Lupit. A Lupit is an array of cameras and sensors mm -hmm. that are configured and trained with the chip that it has, the software itself, mm -hmm. to track your hands yes. as individual yeah. uh, bone arrays. Like you will do, like like you will see them on the model. What it does, it's track your hands, track anything that looks like a hand, pretty much. Yes. And replicate that on the coordinates on your model. Yes. In Leap Motion or Metanet, that's and, Metanet Pro. That's Leap the other Motion one. Yeah. Is limited and it's kind of janky with its sensor, but the the I think a big part of why it's kind of um, become popular is because its price point is fair, fairly friendly, at least compared to like the more like a vive or an oculus like well a vive is about six hundred dollars say and an oculus is about four hundred dollars elite motion is about a hundred dollars ish yeah USB. yeah yeah Help yeah me. so leap motion is optional like uh the pending skits don't use leap motion i i'm using uh solely leopards uh so like with that i can like move my head around you know i blink my mouth moves when when there's a voice um, but, but like, that's basically how much Pendy moves. The model is capable of so much more movement than that. I'm limited by the hardware that I have. Like, if you can see, like in this picture that you're looking at right now, Pending's doing a salute. I did that with MMD. Um, yeah. and this is just like a still pose that Pending is doing. Um, but also Pending can do like basically full motion and you can do that in mmd in addition to all these other things uh but but mmd is hard to it takes time to learn 
and yeah, I, there I are there are a lot of novice. there are a lot of t- tips and tricks and mm-hmm. know how that a lot of people have. Yeah, especially if you're a company, you don't want to sell to n- your know how. So I'm just telling you what I have used, uh, because mm-hmm. I'm not a company. I don't give a flying f mm-hmm. about people knowing what I use because it's all free tools, pretty much. Yes. You can also do hand animation on MMD or Blender or Unity even, but that's going to take you a lot of time and you will pretty much need to be a good animator mm-hmm. to make something decent that people will be like, oh my God, this looks real realistic. Yeah, open source. Yes, that's open source. That's pretty much what I want to say to you guys. Hmm. Uh, but yes. I, pre- I appreciate there, it. To be a, a, I don't give a fuck, pending, but it's fine. Oh, I'm trying to control okay. myself a little. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. It's okay. But yes, there is the full body motion, the the half body motion, as they call it, which is just your headset and your controllers to control stuff using either a tracking motion, I mean, tracking world, virtual motion, ca- uh, virtual motion capture, and um, what's the other name of it? There is another one that is used mostly by VR chat people called... Suba or stream your virtual avatar or something like that. Hmm. But that one is paid. Yeah, okay. Fuck paying for stuff. Sorry. Well, some of this stuff does cost money. Like Luppet, for example, as we said, costs 50. Although there is... Look, um, if, yeah, I'm just saying, if you're not playing and using... If you want to use yeah. that instead, which is free. Yeah, um, you Mitane. It's Mitane. Suba is apparently only 10 yeah. bucks. So it's oh, actually yeah. not yeah. bad. Oh, that's really mm-hmm. cheap. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Yeah. Still, I'm, I'm not going to... What does Buy uh, anything? What does Suba a offer ass. as opposed to Leap Motion, or not Leap Motion? Sorry, sure. Leap it. Suba is oh, pretty much Suba. tracking tracker support so that you can use it out of your out of, outside of your chat. Your chat. You can just oh. import the, the avatar you have in your chat to it pretty much very very quickly I the see. same way. But yeah, it's just to add that support and adding a custom shaders and stuff like that if you want to be fancy, because other solutions that are free use the VRM format. And the VRM format, unless you code your own stuff, you're going to be limited to only one shader, which can make some avatars flat, can make some others look really good, especially if they're simple and cartoony. Hmm. It's all up to you. You want to be some neon, glowy avatar, like a VR chat, you can use soup and pay money. Do you want to have your normal avatar? Then you can just have to present stuff. You can use Tracking World. That's way it's better because it's free <laughs> i mean but then again i'm just just very really cheap i try to economize everywhere um uh see this uh, as far as like uh we'll we'll be talking a bit more about youtube and twitch later but as far as like uh where you, you should put your focus it really kind of well partially depends on what you want to do as, as yui said it's the ideal is to do both, but it, that's also taxing. But like, if you want to be, if you want to stream, typically, Twitch is the better platform. Obviously, I say that as I'm streaming on YouTube. Um, Look, but if you want to like make a skit, for example, like like what I'm doing with the skits, YouTube is really the only option for that. Uh, so Twitch and the, these serve different functions for the most part. Um, and it comes down to which one, it comes down to like which kind of things you want to do. Hola, Pancho. And Sorry, which kind I'm of things you want to do more. What? Someone is, just called me Pancho. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Isn't that the thing you wear? No, that, that's no, a poncho. Poncho. <laughs> poncho. So, what does Pancho mean? Well, maybe you we wanna, should repeat it. Do you want to know about Pancho? What is Pancho it a bad means? word? Well, no. why would he? No, 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 no. Okay, so you know how Mar- so you know how Margaret is like shorter to Peggy as a nickname. Sure, I guess. Okay, in Spanish we have the same thing with a lot of names. Mm-hmm. For example, Francisco. Yeah. Is shortened to Pancho. Mm-hmm. Oh. As a nickname. Mm-hmm. Oh. Jesus or Jesus. Is shortened to Chewy. Really. Oh. Yeah. And Jose, or Jose, or whatever, is shortened to Pepe. So, huh. it's really nonsensical. 
there is a lot of history about that, but uh, this is not the stream for that. <clears throat> I'm just gonna tell you that it's just a short shorthand slash nickname for uh, mm -hmm. certain names in Spanish. Yeah. Uh, so where was I? Oh, uh, so I I I had w one question. Um, so so. Um. I'm sorry. I I I glanced over at Yui's. Uh, bunny hairpin and and it occurred to me it's like would that would yeah, that cute. hurt because like it it looks like it weighs a decent amount and like it would be pulling down on your hair would it's stuck hurt? to her nah, hair don't worry it's stuck there through uh lines of code and magical forces so don't okay. worry about it no okay, that that's, that's the real Yui. if you take that away Yui, the body dies oh okay <laughs> that's that's secret that no one must know uh, so so That's so fine. um so like like for example right now i have luppet and if i as as the thing that i'm filming pending with and if i wanted to give pending some movement while sticking with luppet i could i could augment that with leap motion but if yes. i were to ever get like say a vibe luppet would not be viable anymore if i wanted to get anything out of that vibe is that am i correct in thinking that well yes oh, but yes. it depends on what you want to do on your stream if you want to do like full body motion tracking mm -hmm. yes go and spend like two two thousand bucks on trackers and a headset mm. but that headset will also serve you the same way to make your own videos like on your own stuff you have is not is, 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 enough floor space on your house or wherever you live or for beer chat. So it depends on what you want to do. You have to think of it as an investment, I think. Right. My thinking is that if you know you're going to use it, you could get it. Yeah. But if you're not very disciplined, it's really a waste of money, Maple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did, no, Maple didn't end up getting the vibe, right? He, he was about to he, like he when he talked. didn't even have his model and i was like maple no i don't yeah. think you should <laughs> that makes sense and going back to like uh like this is like a how to get started thing a lo one, one thing to consider is like it's a lot easier to add on later than to than to realize you you spent money that you didn't end up wanting to uh <laughs> so like it's like if you the cost of entry doesn't have to be particularly high uh like if you want like the full body motion yeah. yes it's expensive I'm but you I'm don't gonna necessarily you. need that i'm just gonna tell you how much you will spend if you go this road if you mm -hmm. make an avatar on beroid mm -hmm. edit it yourself mm -hmm. on blender or anything else or just make new textures on photoshop or even paint i think right and you use meet and you go to Steam and get meet and in the free version. Okay. Set up Streamlabs or OBS for that. You can start streaming for the whooping amount of zero bucks and zero cents. All you have to do is have a planned out character, a schedule, a plan mm -hmm. on how to get yourself known, a personality, and some time. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. Zero bucks. Anyone can do it. Anyone can be a freaking VTuber. Anyone can be creative as much as they want. It all yes. it takes is your plan, your sweat, your blood, yeah, and none of your money. Yeah, it is possible to get in because there's enough free programs out there that it is possible to get into it without spending money. Obviously, that the big sticking point there is that you need to make the model for yourself. Then, um, what? But but that's doable, especially more and more so that's do that's doable. I guess the only other thing I I wanted to kind of ask is we we basically been focusing on three D, and I think the reason for that is because three D has become so much more. Uh, it is pretty much a standard now. because it is yeah. more accessible. Because if you want to go two D, mm -hmm. you have to be either one a very skilled artist with mm -hmm. the drive and desire to learn how to use live two D. Yes. You need to have money to commission a good artist to get your dream design, your dream look mm -hmm. cut out. 
so it's so that you can animate or commission someone else to animate it on Live 2D. Yes. True. You have to to spend money on Face Rig and on Live 2D. Yeah, Face Rig isn't particularly expensive, but it is still something that you have to spend money on. I think Face Rig's like what, fifteen bucks ish. Yeah, still, but you still have to spend money on it. Oh yeah, yeah. And, fa- and to be honest, before yeah. I became a though, I mm-hmm. tried to go that route, but then I realized, well, this is gonna be dumb. I, I won't be able to do what I want to do. It won't be funny. I will be just like those uh, YouTube animators that only do like two frames. That's mm-hmm. gonna be boring. I don't want to do that. Right. So that's why I went 3D. Yes. So that's pretty much. Those are the three things you have to consider. You have to spend money, time, and talent on it. Yes. So when I go to for for most people getting started, 3D is now I think the better way to go. Uh, just because it's become so much more, it's become so much more accessible to do 3D. Where whereas 2D has kind of remained stagnant. So it's a, it's just as hard to become 2D now as it was say a year ago, whereas 3D has become leaps and bounds more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I think that, so I think, I think that covers, oh, let me check yeah, we... one thing. But while I'm checking that thing, uh, Yui or Moe, did you, did you want to add anything to this uh, segment? Sorry, I can't, uh, I'm taking all the airtime. Sorry about no, that. No, it's okay. Especially Do for I... this part, okay. because it's the tech stuff, I kind of, wanted you to but but you and molly did you want to add anything i thought i was going to add something but then i had a brain fart now i'm just farting my brain and i don't know what to add on your brain farts fart. <laughs> um i guess like years ago like before i was even doing anything on youtube in general mm-hmm I was like, I knew about Kizuna I. Obviously, I didn't know the term for it because I'm not a weeb. I'm kidding. But um, I I wanted to become like her. But the thing is that it was so much harder back then. I knew about Perception Neuron. I assumed maybe I could mimic something with Kinect because, like, I'm not spending 2K bucks. Right. And I knew about, like, Face Rig came, like, way later. Mm-hmm. And obviously, at the time, I didn't have money. I'm not going to draw and like spend money to hire someone else to get that stuff. Mm-hmm. And like at this point, like Dippy mentioned, the technology has like advanced so much. Like Vroid has made everything easier. Yes. And like, yeah, it, it's much easier now. So so you guys can go yeah. do stuff with it. Yeah. 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 And it makes it <laughs> it makes it a lot more viable to, you know, if you're not sure that you want to do it it makes it a lot more viable to try to do it anyways because like when you're not sure about wanting to do something and that thing costs like three hundred dollars that's a much bigger deal than if you're not sure about if you want to do this and it's you know all it's asking for is some initial startup time on your behalf so. uh, another thing i wanted to add is that even with like the face rig stuff if you were not a live 2d artist it would be much harder to edit your model yeah. So if you had a, a model and it had a dress, you could not exceed a texture beyond that dress. Otherwise, it might look funky. Mm-hmm. Or if you have like a different resolution size and you edited like a skin or something, you might actually uh, mess up your model and you would have skin missing or be a different color. So it was very limited. But mm-hmm. with 3D, you can just drag and drop and like replace textures as I showed you in Unity and all that stuff. Yeah. So it's much easier. Yeah, Unity is both equal parts scary and actually very intuitive. Uh, Unity I am, is a mess, I am, but well, it's a workable mess. It, yeah, that's probably a great way to put it. I, I am exceedingly fine. dumb, uh, <laughs> so I have I, I have needed Dippy, Deet, and, and Moe to help me so much with Unity um, along the ways, but but. I think I think one time, do you remember, Dippy? I was like trying to get the. I was clicking on the thing, and trying to figure out why like the the button wasn't working on Unity, that you wanted me to like use. And then I realized that my problem was that I was trying to access it via the screenshot that I took for you to show you yeah. what I was doing, as opposed to yeah. Unity itself. So. Yeah, as Deed is saying, uh, uh, Rafang made one one valid question. Can custom expressions be made 
when we'll, we, we were talking about Unity and Beer Right, yes, you can. But you can edit it on Blender. You can edit the blend shapes to mm. do whatever you want them to do. Mm -hmm. And after you play with that, you can Im import that on... Well, export that as an FBX on Unity. Then do a lot of steps. Very easy steps, by the way. They're all on the internet. You, you can look around. Mm -hmm. and convert that but to be honest that's a hassle that's why people come to me for help or to deed or to anyone else mm -hmm. i'd like to help people as much as i can so that's why i do that of course sometimes i do charge depending on the complexity if something is really easy i'm just going to convert it so that you can uh, screw around with it i can do that for you <laughs> if you want to make so you want to make something really complex you can do this 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 and that well that will cost you money Mm -hmm. But still, it's really easy. Oh, you you can. You can do it. Oh, you can? You can, but you have to edit your textures a lot. Uh, do what? Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, oh the, um, the anime squinty eye. Yeah, you can. Thing? I mean. Oh. oh, you have it now? Because in the past it was bugged and then I couldn't do it. No, you, you have it now and, and it looks great. I mean, Rose has it. Oh. Oh, I helped. Oh her yeah, do that, yeah. So. Rose does have it, and I, I like, I like it on on Rose. So you don't have to edit the texture anymore, or is you, it you you can? Is it not enough? Oh, okay. You, you have you have to, but it's, but it's fine. So is is it like a custom blend shape that's included into the model itself? All you need to do is just change. You you you, you can you can it? add it on Be Right. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I guess they updated it. You'll have to. They updated it, it a lot. Lately, it's not the same as the point seven version that most people started with. I don't yeah. even know what version I have. <laughs> I d I don't know what version pending is either. Um, but yeah, it seems like it seems like Vroid is just getting better and better, or at least that's the impression I'm left with. Yeah, that's the thing. You will be limited on your expressions. If you use something like full like tracking word, for example, you can set everything to have about the infinite expressions or 12 i forgot did can tell can you tell me how many mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah yeah did, did, did can tell you how many expressions you can do in, in tracking world yeah. but luppet uh luppet i believe that because basically how luppet works with the expressions is they're hotkey based uh and, and uh, they yeah. will allow you and luppet will allow you like up to four hotkeys so you can only have four expressions, I guess five if you want to include the default as an expression. Um, Metanet, yes, it does. Actually, it does. Metanet read, read, reads, reads them all. Metanet? And, yeah, Metanet, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I call it. All it expressions, all expressions you make, they, yeah. But. No, me, Metanet can sucks. do them. Metanet can do it. Can do I'm not them. familiar with Metanet. The, tr the, the tracking sucks. Is that 13? Or a different program. Oh, is that three team? Yeah, it's oh, meet okay. NA, please. We are weeps all we are all weeps here. Oh, okay. Meet and as three teen, so I don't well, know. I, I mean, that. I'm I'm not familiar with it because like my experience with it was when I originally um when I originally got started with like 3D pending, like I got Leppet and I briefly tried three treating because I was interested to see like how the three chain camera was as opposed to the Luppet camera. And they were they they struck me as being pretty similar, so I ended up sticking with uh Luppet. It's all it's all in the in the in the tracking solutions they use on their on their scripts. Right. Luppet uses one that is proprietary for some stuff because the creator works on some stuff. He got the license and stuff. Mm -hmm. And Mitene uses something that is I think it was almost homemade, but still, it's it's really tracking. It's really, really um. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's not really... as smooth as Lapet. That's why I uh, I stuck to Lapet after using both programs. The only issue yeah. is that um, it can have can be all the blend shapes that you make, but yeah. Lapet can be four, and even so, the motion works way better on Lapet. That's why I went to Lapet instead. Hmm. That makes sense. Um, it's all on what you want to use. If you, if you don't mind looking shoppy as hell like I do, just slap that on the stream. I, that's what I use. I use Mitana because I don't give a f 
But if you want to be more accurate, smooth, you know, if you are more of a streamer, like a pro streamer, kind of like Yui, for example, you will use Lopet. And man, what was that? Leap motion. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> And yeah, you can uh, you can absolutely do hand animations uh, if if it's a video. Like if you're if as long as it's not live, you can or animate the, the model by hand with like MV. Yeah. Um, there there are there are absolutely VTubers that do that and. There are a couple rare examples of that with pending. So I, I have tried Suba. Mm -hmm. Suba is pretty much has pretty much the same tracking as Bearshot, but less laggy because it's local. Mm -hmm. And you can load all the custom shares you want so that you can be on any TDA model. I mean, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> any model that you have legally obtained. That's another thing that you have to be aware of. Mm -hmm. Not all the assets you use can be used for streaming or content. That's something important as well that you have to take into account, but that's going to be for the next section, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, before we move on to the next section, was there anything else that anyone wanted to add for this section? Yeah, don't spend money. Uh, okay, so... The the next section is let's say, let's say like you have like an idea of what it is you want to do, why it is you want to be a VTuber in the first place. Uh, you you've gone through that initial implementation where you have a model, you you know what basic software slash hardware you're gonna use with that model. Um, then then it's on to like either streaming or making videos and uh, in either case uh, this section is basically um, talking about what's involved in doing those. Um, Yui, and, mm -hmm. here's your microphone. Yui will be the expert on this. I suck at Yeah, yeah. That. Well, uh, let's, yeah, well, Yui, you're, you're like, I think it's fair to say the, the veteran amongst us when it comes to streaming. Um, so I, I guess like it, if you want to get started streaming, uh, particularly on Twitch, but it's also relevant to YouTube as well. What, what exactly do you need to do? Like, what are the things that you need to keep in mind? What's the software that you need? What's the, is there a particular um, hardware that you need, to, that you should have? Okay. Um, when it comes to, uh, streaming, mm -hmm. uh, you gotta, you gotta keep in mind, uh, your leg, how, how strong it is, because that's the first thing you, you don't really want to have a choppy stream. Mm -hmm. So ideally, if you're going to use, you see, because, you know, normal streamers, they just use face cams, it doesn't really text the system. But you see, if you're gonna use a tracking solution, that takes a good percentage out of your GPU to actually do the stream, or like mm -hmm. capture it to go into a program like OBS or Streamlabs. Uh, for me, I'm using Streamless because it has custom commands and um, uh, custom, we call that widgets. Unlike uh, the normal OBS, you don't have anything to rely on. You need to do everything from scratch. So right. the thing is that when you're doing streaming, uh, most people who who first start streaming, they the first the first issue they need to go through is to make sure the stream run smoothly i until today i still face that issue because it's it can be a little tough if you're going to lock that or motion capture then play a game and then stream at the same time so the thing that you want to know is, is your basic rig ideally if you are going to lock that, you probably want a capture card that is at least 1660 ti you don't want to go lower Mm -hmm. you, you can't have a 1050 or whatnot. No, you need to have at least 1660 Ti and above to do basic streaming. Uh, else, you won't be able to really stream without having choppy frames or issues. So, um, an example is 100% OJ. Mm -hmm. I can stream that with Lapet running 
on the background. But if I were to stream code name, nope, can't be done. Uh, it's kind of uh, insanely choppy. Uh, so ideally, what you want to do is to you want to play along with your mic first and understand what kind of settings you can go for. It, then yes, um, like push out streams. You can you um, can even potentially do some test streams uh, before you get started with like um like doing i guess more official streams just to get get a sense of what your computer will and won't handle and also to give you an opportunity yeah. to mess around with the settings of streamlabs obs exactly yeah free has free has a yeah, 970 but the thing is that free is only streaming via chat oh sorry streaming a single uh via game back then when he was doing beat saber so so it was still okay for him because the capture solution is the game itself. See, it's not a capture solution, another PC game, mm -hmm. game on it, and then you stream. So it's still okay. But if you're going to like play normal PC games, like Codeline, then you would probably want to um, use a capture solution just to capture the model. But that, that is going to be a lot of tinkering and uh, site, like playing on how you want to stream, let's say it is 720p or whether you want it to be text on your CPU or GPU, a lot of experimentation. Ideally, if people have uh, issues, I wouldn't mind helping you out. Just mm -hmm. give me a DM and I can like uh, assist. But the main important thing now, once you manage to get past this hurdle, it is time to customize or personalize your stream. So yes. the thing that you want to actually like work on, the most important thing is your alert system. So basically things like what happens when a new follower comes, what happens if someone subscribes or if someone donates. Um, ideally, before your first stream even comes, you want to have basic alerts um, showing. So. Maybe during like the first two weeks or so, you can have like Streamlabs basic alerts because uh, you're still trying to get a hang of how stream will go. So you can, the reason why I use Streamlabs is because uh, they have lots of basic alerts for you to it's use. It's easier. It's easier. And easier too, yeah. So from Streamlabs itself, you can customize the alerts, but or you can just use the basic ones first until you feel that, okay, it's time to upgrade and then you proceed with your own alerts. But that is when probably you will want to have another important thing, which is... I, I just... Um, there's going to be a slight delay, but I, I figured for this part, I might as well s switch to display capture because with display capture, oh, yeah. they can actually see uh, Streamlabs. So you get a, a sense of what this is. Yeah, exactly. So, so basically, at this point of time, while we're still talking about alert system, you will want to have custom alerts for certain things. So let's just say uh, what I've done with my alerts is that I have different alerts for uh, a certain amount of uh, threshold in terms of cheers, in terms of uh, donations. So with $5 donation, I have Mr. Free Dimension screaming something. And with $10 donation, I have an owl going. So ideally, um, as the amount increases it gets more meaning it gets more longer to to get the person who donated more stream time in the donation and finally you know the hundred dollar donation is literally uh take on me the whole the, the first one minute and a half of the song so it's basically it gives the people a visit oh nice one pending that's a nice transition <laughs> thank you the, Mo, i i have to credit my way for that my way made me that transition <laughs> Whoa, wow, nice. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, see, so what it does is it gives um uh, it increases the quality of the stream. So even all this transaction, just like not transaction, transitions, then it really transitions and uh custom alerts. It gives more personality to your stream, which is really important, and it's a, a way to also like uh credit or give the viewers um the screen time they deserve for supporting the stream mm -hmm. okay. i just, just realized uh, because, of because of that because because i switched to display capture for a minute uh the image like this thumbnail that's at the front actually existed on the top layer so it was hiding both the chat box and the alert box so you know that's a fun fact that i didn't realize up until now 
Um, oh, wait, maybe I have to find myself too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, Mike. Sorry, sorry. So, are we focusing on the graphical aspect? Because that's pretty much just tying an aesthetic down and making sure it doesn't like clash with what you're actually mm. doing. At least that's just how I see it. I'm very um, utilitarian, not really. That's why my stream looks very simple, I think. <laughs> yeah, my my streams look fairly simple too, but um, but but both Moe and Jui um, have have like um, a a personalized aesthetic to it, and I do think that adds yeah. a lot to it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much part of their character. Yeah, I just like photoshopping. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you like it. You like that a lot. Yeah. I yeah, don't really do I, that because, yeah. You, you said you want a potato? Bam, 10 minutes later. Here you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was joking about it, but you made it, so. Oh, well, I, I, thank you're you. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. so welcome to the potato club. And it's yes. uh, uh, also, also I, I requested Moe make a, a maple potato, so. If you guys haven't seen that yet, do do check that out because it's a work of art. I should start taking commissions for it. Yeah. And I, I guess it also kind of plays into like, you know, follow the things that kind of you're passionate about and lean on your, your existing skills because one of Moe's existing skills is she's really good Photoshop. at Photoshop. So that opens up yeah. a whole bunch of things that she could uh, potentially do that other people wouldn't be as able to do on their own. Um, so, yeah. Another thing that is important as well as a streamer and also as a content creator is networking. Mm, though that's... you. Yeah, I mean, that's a given, but still, you need to know social cues. You need to know when someone will benefit you, someone will benefit you as in, will you be able to create content with them? Will you be able to vibe with them? That's a great thing to consider when you're talking to someone and when you try to reach out to someone to do content. At least as a team effort, as a goal like collab, streaming. Because you will get fans eventually. It's not going to be quick. It's not going to be soon unless you are promoted by someone else, by some upper force called money or some company or someone else with more clout than you. But it... It all depends on how well you can talk to people. Hmm. The thing is, if you want to be a virtual YouTuber, a virtual streamer, you also have to shed off a little bit of your shyness. Because after all, you're a virtual being. You're not you in real life. Oh, really? You have to be different. If you want to be more extroverted, you want to take those baby steps that you can take in real life to be extroverted, you can take them in virtual in virtual. Space. Yeah. It's a, a, and another way to look at it is it's an opportunity to potentially make more friends, to, to meet new people. Did, can you please stop um, beating yourself up? I'm going to try to friends and beat you up if you keep that. And, and uh, Lunara um, kind of, I, I, I agree uh, when you say like it, it forces you to become better because this whole uh like making videos and or streaming encourages you to learn a whole bunch of new new skills that you might not have possessed it encourages you to try different things so there's a lot so there's a lot of potential knowledge that you can get out of this um i'm sorry i don't know how to say your name right <laughs> Lunaria? Lunaria? Lunaria. 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 Oh. Lunaria. 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 You can also call her Marana, but that's something else. Mm -hmm. Lunaria? Yes. Marana, it's fine. Marana, okay. Yui was there. I'm kidding, you don't call her that! I just, I, I'm really, 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 um, uh-huh. Really, uh, she posted with her, I guess. So that's why. I, I kind of say it I, like a weibo, like how? Lunaria, yeah, Lunaria, Lunaria. like in Japanese. Lunaria. Lunaria. 
Lunaria, yeah, like in Japanese. You three those in Japanese. Mm -mm. Um, so, um, it could help you learn it, Yu Yu, but it really depends on, um, I guess, how willing you are to learn it. Because when I downloaded Blender and I saw a square, I got bored. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't feel like doing this. Mm -hmm. You. She's sorry, yes? Yeah? Oh. Was there um was there anything else you wanted to to uh say about the the what you call it the um uh streaming thing? aspect? Mm -hmm. Uh the other thing though that no, I wanted to cover it was actually covered my BP is this really <laughs> Sorry, true API <laughs> and socialize. Cause cause when you're doing content creation, it is not a solo thing. Yeah, yeah, because when you are doing content creation, you are building a community and you need to bond with this community and actually like bring yourself out there. So it's it's never like a single person's work. It's it's a bond between uh, communities and different communities of people. So it's the the best thing to also grow, as what Vicky say is to get out there, make sure of people, and be a positive influence. Don't, mm -hmm. don't be negative. Um, I guess like while we're talking about like the community, I do want to add the VTuber community is very special, and the fact that this is like a very more like family community in a sense yeah, yeah. we're very I, close knit yeah and i i came from a different community before this and it was a like doggy eat however you call that term doggy, that doggy. I, dog eat, yes doggy thank dog. you i was gonna say doggy eat world <laughs> I, I was about that, to that's, a, that that's a bad isn't it i don't Thanks, know <laughs> no that's but, jimmy eats world yeah sorry that's it oh yeah but, but yeah, the community here is so much nicer. So, you know, I forgot where I was going with this now that we're talking about dogs. I forgot. <laughs> you, were, uh, uh, you were basically, uh, I think, trying to say that um, that it's a, it's a lot friendlier to to get in, into the VTuber community. Like, the VTuber community oh, yeah, is a lot Oh, more... yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah. Like, everyone raids each other, and I'm like, oh my god, you guys actually, like... Each each other. Other. Yeah, yeah. In the last community I had, like I was part of, like they would just be like, "Yo, bro, check out my video. Nice vid, bro." Like, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they were just kind of trying to get attention and stuff mm. and self promo. Here, everyone actually watches each other and supports each other, so it's still like a big shock to me because mm. of like the different mindset and treatment I had. So so yeah, enjoy the VTuber community, everyone. Everyone's really nice. Of course, yeah. there's like some bad eggs. Kick, I'm an egg, but like <laughs> for the you're most part, egg. yeah, I you're am a good egg. Thank Hi. you. I haven't exploded myself in Bro. the microwave yet. Bro. But yeah, like don't be shy, cause like almost everyone's pretty nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Did. Yeah, there's still sub communities, but everyone collapses with, each, with each, each other. It's fine, if people. Yeah. I mean, you cannot really be. Uh, you cannot be real, really please everyone. You cannot be really like be pleased by everyone. So if it's fine if you can find your own niche in the niche, I guess, like your own corner. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It happens. It's not like people are at war. I mean, and, oh, there might ahead. be some disagreements here and there but fuck we're pretty much all adults i think we can yeah. talk it out there is no need to i'm an adult do... <laughs> of course no you're not shut up <laughs> anyway okay i'm going to putting some credit yeah uh, on another note um depending on how you stream and how you talk and like how you act that will do that will affect like who comes to you and on an um like once again, the last community streams are very different. They actually were not like into the whole alert system and stuff. It was just kind of like, I'm here, I exist. Mm -hmm. I guess like those were big streamers too, though. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, it's a, it's a very different feel. But, but don't be shy if like there's not a lot of people there. It'll take time. Oh, I made you a present. Yeah, it's fine if you slide into people DMs, you know, carpet DM. 
Don't give me too, just... don't give me booze. Uh, I get sick very easily. What? You you asked if if uh I could get booze instead of juice, but I get sick from booze very easily. Oh, I was thinking of the boo from Mario. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No, it's not that I get drunk very easily. It's that I get nauseous very easily. I get nauseous before I can get drunk. <laughs> Um, Mia still has some DM Sly. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, Sly. Oh, no, bye. <laughs> Come. Come on, Sly. Don't mean to be sad. You got yeah. us. Yeah. Um, so, 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 um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so that's, that's kind of like the stuff with streaming, but then obviously making videos is an, is an entirely different thing. Um, um. Moe, because you have a lot of experience making videos, I was wondering if you wanted to talk a bit about uh, that process and things to keep in mind for that. Oh, sure. So when you start early on, it's okay if it's shitty. Oh, wait, am I not allowed to curse? I have no idea on the rules. Yes, it's, it's, it's okay. Fine. It's okay. Diffie's already okay. done it. A lot yeah, of people, it. a lot of people are like, I want to have perfect quality. I want to have like, I want to stand out. It's okay if your, like, beginning quality is not that good. Like, my mic used to be a snowball, and it was it was absolutely awful. There was, like, echo in it. Of course, you guys are probably not aware of it. And then, like, eventually, because I found people to mooch knowledge off of, Killjoy, um, mm -hmm. I upgraded my audio equipment. I upgraded my computer. I still don't know anything about computers. But that's why you have nerd friends for. Yeah. <laughs> so um yeah, everything's gonna be a process. Don't fret. Try and have fun. You'll learn on the way to like, you know, becoming a better content creator. Yeah. For example, I'm 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 gonna put myself as a good example because I made my first video when I was completely smashed at two AM. Mm. I was drunk. I was fucking falling off my shirt drunk, and I managed to edit the video and get it out. When you see that and compare it to the latest video that I made, the Vampire q one with Emiko, with the help of a lot of people, there is a lot of stuff that you can you can learn from being a content creator on YouTube. Yeah. One, if you know how to do something, do it, but don't do it for free. And two, if you know what you cannot do it, either learn it real quickly or get help and pay for it and credit properly. Get a team, get people that are willing to help you out and collab with you so that you can cover each other's weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And I guess pick a, a schedule. I suck at picking a schedule because I am really busy usually in, in real life. Uh, but I try to at least get one video on out a month just to keep the channel alive because otherwise i mean you can just go like make one video once and then come back six months later with say with video number two and people were like who the fuck are you hmm. <laughs> you have to stay at least a little bit constant a little bit relevant yeah. because people want to hear about you it's, it's like when you're friends with someone for like a week then you go away for two months then you come back to them then that person will be like who the fuck are you yeah, no, it doesn't work like that. And also, like, if if your goal is to grow through YouTube by making videos on YouTube, uh, how much YouTube is going to share your video is going to be somewhat proportional to how uh, consistent you are when it comes to making content. You don't... The thing I've heard is you don't necessarily have to make content quickly like it doesn't have to be like a video uh every day or anything crazy like that but it is helpful to have like a reasonably consistent schedule so like say once a week or if once a week is too much for you once every couple weeks or once a month or, or whatnot like as long as the channel doesn't just peter off into nothing um but yeah as as Deet said, um, it's it's not it's not a good idea to to make YouTube videos for the sake of making money because for one thing, there's not unless your channel gets really really big there there's not really a whole lot of money in making YouTube videos like 
to use myself as an example, uh, none of the none of the videos, none of the pending skits have made any money. None of them are monetized. Um, and yeah. even, even once I get to a point where the pending skits can be monetized, we're probably looking at maybe each skit earning me like 20 to 30 cents ish. Um, so, so, so it's not, it's not a money maker most of the time. So you, it's you unstable. have to want to do it for a reason other than, than money. I mean, you know, if, if you can turn a career into that, that's, it's amazing. But, but you know, that, that shouldn't be the starting goal. The starting goal should be, I want to do this because I'm interested in it or want to do it because I'll have fun doing it. And if your channel some days takes off and like you you are, are making a living off of that, that's amazing. But you know, if if you're in it specifically for money, there's a decent chance you're going to end up getting burnt out and, and it's like a bit disappointed. Um because because of how YouTube works. It uh, fi financially, Twitch is a lot more friendly in that regard. Yeah, I think it you is. kind of have to balance both. The good thing about YouTube is that if you do have a bunch of videos, it can gain you money passively. Obviously, it won't be a lot of money compared to like the release date, but it's still there. So um, everyone, like those big channels who have like probably thousands of videos would, even if it's not a lot of views per video, mm. the whole thing as a collection could help. Right. Now, um, once you have that fan base, you could potentially get them on Twitch, but it is going to be hard. The thing about Twitch is that those are your like more hardcore fan base, the more loyal ones. Mm hmm and if they subscribe to you there, they could potentially, like, I guess, donate and, like, it's more of a community there than YouTube because YouTube is a bunch of non-subscribers showing up and they're just there as a view as, like, um, I guess they're, like, in terms of money, they would be a few cents. While Twitch is much more friendly. So if, it, if money is, like, a goal, then you kind of have to balance both. Mm. Yeah. Patreon's pretty good, too. But it depends on, like, your situation. Yeah, it definitely depends on the circumstances. It's definitely the case that for some YouTubers, Patreon is what keeps it vi viable as a job. Yeah. Like, for some YouTubers, without the, the money they're making for Patreon, they wouldn't be able to keep making YouTube videos because the YouTube ad revenue they're getting just simply isn't enough for them to, to keep their their channel afloat by itself so patreon um and, and yeah you also need a, a fair amount of followers for patreon to work you need a fan base that is you know open to the idea of uh giving you you money i guess basically another, another thing though is that if you do start patreon um mm -hmm. there's gonna be a lot of like unstable months because you know people have lives they have yes. bills to yeah. pay don't get demotivated if like people have to cut down or if they like stop the thing. Uh, not gonna lie, there are like some people who just donate to get into your pants and whatever. At least like I've had that one experience where like um, I didn't give them any attention in terms of like flirtation. And I think I think they said that in like their when you do like when you leave Patreon, they have like a message as a goodbye or something. <laughs> Yeah, you can you can say you can give a reason as to why uh, you're you're leaving Patreon. They didn't give me a reason, but like at at that time, they would DM me asking like, "So, do you need a roommate?" Like, what the fuck? <laughs> hmm. So be careful. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, having to balance a real life job and making content is definitely a challenge. Like that's something that I what? think a lot of us do s struggle with. Um, is, uh, me, me and Dippy, I think are in that camp where we both have jobs and then, and then we're doing content yeah, creation on, on top of it. Really stressful job, but this yeah. is my way to de-stress. Yeah. Basically. And it's, I, I'm in a similar boat. Like this is, this isn't like 
an extra job for me. This is the thing I do for fun outside of my job. Uh, yeah. To be honest, yeah, this is pretty much just me challenging myself to do something that I wanted to do like years ago, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And also giving Emiko an outlet to do what she wanted to do. Pretty much just flex her local strengths, I guess. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So yeah, it's a hobby. For me, it's a hobby. I know some some of you guys see it as a job. So that's why I'm gonna hold myself back on some comments that I may have about that. But still, you guys are doing well, and I'm glad for you. And that's the thing that matters. Yeah, exactly. Um. Yeah. Um. I I had a couple more things to say about this section, but before I did that, I wanted to know if anyone else had anything they wanted to add about, like, either either things to keep in mind when you're getting started as a streamer, or things to keep in mind when you're getting started with video making. I know, not, not from my side. <laughs> I already said that thing. Yeah. yeah I already okay. said everything. I already talked by yourself on it, so it's right. fine. I, I just wanted to add a, a couple quick things. Like, a, a couple programs to keep in mind uh, if you're making videos that are free and helpful. Um, one is for for basic video recording with a model. Uh, obviously, we already talked about, say, Luppet, whether or not you use that or a different one. Uh, a lot of times, you'll want to have use OBS Studio in conjunction with it. So, for example, when I'm recording a pending skit, what I'm doing is I have Luppet open and then I have OBS Studio set to record Luppet. Uh, and I have the settings on Luppet set to record that video as an MP4 uh, file. I, I, MP4 is just the friendliest format for what I'm doing. Um, so, and um, I, I genu generally recommend that you have one of the first things you do with OBS Studio is you set it so that it's going to output an MP4 because uh, it doesn't do that by default. Um, and then from there, uh, you can uh, you can also record audio and or edit audio with a program called Audacity. Audacity is a free program to use as well. It's a it's an audio editor. It's uh, for for a free audio edit editor. It is pretty functional. Um, obviously, there's much more advanced audio editors out there, but Audacity is free. Um, and things you can do with that is like amplify the audio, uh, help help with the places where you clipped. Uh, the, if you do nothing else, the thing that you want to do with Audacity is remove the white noise from the audio, uh, because that's a big help. Removing white noise is a big help as far as like helping the audio quality. Yes, exactly. Noise reduction. So what you do is you take, you basically highlight a sample of your audio file where you weren't talking uh, and you go to the noise reduction and you take that as a sample. Then you highlight the entire audio and you have Audacity go through it all and reduce the white noise based on the sample that you took. Um, and there's, there's like, um, there, there's sliders and stuff you can play with there um, to, to help. And it, it'll take a bit of trial and error. But, but yes, Audacity is a good ed audio recorder slash audio editor that is free that you can use. Um, for video editing, there's obviously a lot of options. Some of them rather pricey, like Adobe's rather pricey. Sony Vegas can be rather pricey, but it's not You can get them for free. <coughs> Oh, you could pay for the high seat and touch button yes. Ho, ho, ho. Well, <laughs> hi, I mean, hi, hi. The, the I mean, no one has, oh, sorry. No one has to know that what you're using. Mm -hmm. Yar. No one. Yeah. Well, the, the Yar, route I took Yar, is uh, I use a program da, 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 da. called, uh, I use a video editor called Lightworks. Uh, it's not as, um, it, it's not as powerful as, as Premiere. Vegas or, or Premiere, yeah. Or Premiere, yes. 
but it's fairly user friendly, it's fairly intuitive, and the one thing that Lightworks has going for it is it's free. So if you're just getting started, Lightworks is pretty good. Um, and, and yeah, so those are like some basic programs. OBS Studio, Audacity, Lightworks, all three of those programs are free. Um, and they'll allow you to, with those programs, they'll allow you to make a, a solid video um, as long as you learn how to do them. I think one thing that you'll find about video editing is it's kind of like art in general, whereas there's no such thing as being perfect at it. There's always room for improvement. There's You're always learning more things. Um, so the, the more video editing you do, typically speaking, the better you're getting at it. Um, and, and yeah, I just wanted to add in those things. Uh, Don't amplify. Fucking sucks. Hmm? Don't amplify your stuff. It should always be normalized or, or single compression. I think more so. sucks. Well, the, I, I do one. amplify. Awesome. And the reason I do that is because my mic isn't as good. Um, oh, so, that's fine. Yeah. Ba basic, basically, what I do is is um, I record, I, I turn down my mic, or actually, it might not be that it's a, I, it's partially a problem with a, my mic, partially a problem with my room. I have been working on it. I've been slowly buying more sound foam to put in my room. So my the thing I don't like about my audio quality, well, one of the things I don't like about my audio quality is I feel like it's too echoey. Um. You can always make a small box for your microphone. Um, that helps to an extent, but it it doesn't fully help. Um, so so so, so what I do is I turn down when I'm recording. I turn down the audio a bit because that then the it picks up less of the echo, and then I amplify it afterwards. And, and while that's not an ideal solution, that actually does produce audio quality that's somewhat better than if I simply recorded at the proper volume. So if you get a better microphone, will we get a pending ASMR? Huh? That'll just I'm be just him happy. eating cookies. Yeah. yeah. Well, if I get a, if I get a better microphone, yeah, I could potentially do ASMR. I, I, I actually <laughs> kind of wanted to do, like I've experimented a little bit with doing ASMR-esque stuff before, and I actually do have a pretty big interest in doing asmr as comedy uh but but like yeah so at some point i want to get a better a better mic i i mean obviously uh, the better mic as with anything else the limiting factor is like how much you're willing to spend so um so yeah like someday i hope to buy a better quality mic it's just a question of like Says it. I'm actually using an Audio Technica AT2020. It's an XL XLR microphone, so that's why I sound like this. Mm -hmm. This is why I can talk like this. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, I do not have a good microphone. My microphone is a microphone that my dad was using for voice calls, and he's like, "I ha I can give you this microphone if you want. I'm using a different microphone now." So it's a it's a hand me down microphone that was never intended for video recording in the first place. So it's, it's pretty bare bones. Um, but it, but it, yeah. it, it, it served me well enough. Also, uh, um, I forget where the question was. Someone asked if, um, what my inspiration, oh, okay. Yeah. You, you asked, um, did you get inspiration from old cartoons like Pinky and the Brain or Invader Sim? So, when I the thing is like when I started writing pending skits and stuff, I wasn't specifically trying to emulate Invader Sim or Pinky and the Brain. However, I was a fan of both Pinky and the Brain and Invader Sim, and in retrospect, I do think that Invader Sim in particular was probably uh, inspired my comedy quite a bit because like the pending like I think it's fair to say that pending uh, it has a lot shares a lot of similarities with Gur and and there's to a lesser extent uh subtitles and um Zim have some similarities and obviously the the pink pinky in the brain is kind of a better 
equivalent, I guess. Yeah, you use a stinky. Mm. Excuse me. Yes, hello. Sorry, <laughs> pending <laughs> Don't I'm worry, I'm looking at the chat, sorry. Don't worry, Yui, we can barely smell you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah, so I can probably smell you all the way here. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not Vagu, okay? okay. Vagu's the one. Skunk. Do they smell? Yeah, that's a skunk. What? Uh, Vagu's the skunk, Vag yeah. Vagu's the skunk. Oh. Me. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. I smell like strawberries. Yeah. 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 Sorry, sorry, Penny, carry on. I'm so sorry. It's a, it's okay, but yeah, like those are. I I think I think even though I'm not specifically trying to use those as inspiration, just because like they were informative shows in my childhood, it yes, is fair to say that those are inspiration. Red was kind too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm just yeah. Sub, I every every day I ask subtitles. <laughs> what are we gonna do tomorrow night? And she goes with, try to take over the world. <laughs> and then they're like, they're Nice pending. voice. <laughs> Thank you. They're pending. They're pending in the sub, 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 sub titles. Do, 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 do. Um, mm, should I talk about my inspirations as well? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, why not? Well, why? to be honest, my inspirations were, is pretty much just, Okay, if I made videos as if when I was 17 to 19 years old when I wanted to do this, mm -hmm. how will I make them using my fucking knowledge of memes nowadays? Mm -hmm. Because back then I was still pretty much the same as in humor wise, but with older memes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was a little bit more edgy too, so I have need to work on that. But then again, I'm older now, so I don't really feel like being edgy. Just like an asshole, maybe a cynical asshole, but mm -hmm. we'll see. It's just me just trying to extract a subset of me to project onto Edgardo. Because right now I'm, I'm talking like this, but when I'm on stream, I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm just like, all like, no one cared who I was until I put out the mask and shit like that. Come on, it's just fucking whatever comes to mind first. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much the inspiration is just how will younger me do. Videos. My inspiration was General Sam because I love his heavily edited content and like commentary, but there's kind of like a gender difference in terms of humor, and girls are kind of understood differently in a sense. Mm. So, uh, honestly, I couldn't mimic it because, um, like, one, I'm not him, and we don't have the same type of humor, and I just ended up being a dork somehow, so there's my style now. <laughs> it balances out, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I like your style, Moe, so it, it's all, yeah. it all worked out in the end. I like all your styles, too. Thank you. Thank you. Well, when I'm um, just myself. <laughs> the way to be the best chicken they ever was. Yeah. What was, what was you. your inspiration, Yui? Well, uh, mine, mine is kind of different. Uh, mine, mine is actually uh, came up from. It all started in VR chat because mm -hmm. when I went into YouTube, I saw that last time VR chat was trending because do you know the way? Because of the you got the knuckle, <laughs> and I'm like, I want to call each other. This comment seems really interesting. Oh, do you know the way, my friend? And then I decided, you know, I'm gonna be cancer, and I'm gonna join VR chat to be a Yukandan's knuckles, and you know, go to people and I'm like, uh, you seem like the queen. Do you know the way? And then you spit on you first believer. <laughs> so uh, after a lot of um cancer spitting and um following the queen, um, I met a group of people. Uh, mainly uh, Zai and Freed's uh, group, and uh, that's where I, uh, it, yeah, I started with memes, and uh, that's when uh, after like six months down the road, you know, they they they, they kind of like um, asked me, you know, Yui, you should totally you not know, give streaming a try or give content creation a try because um, I have my own unique quirks and stuff. So I uh, it was thanks to free and mostly free Zai and a few other people from the VR chat um these that um I decided to give this, this a go. Mm -hmm. 
but the real one that I I learned friends from like, hey, maybe I should try being a medium. It was actually Minun Moe and Kizun Ai. Mm. It was it was this training that um that you know maybe I thought I could you know instead of being like uh, uh why not be a YouTuber? It was thanks to the tree. Yeah, so so mom, yeah, yeah, like an inspiration for me. And um and since then I, I decided to like, you know, uh, be myself, uh a little bit of cancerous meme here and there and just do um content for uh while being a virtual being it's mainly because also VR chat's influence that, you know, everyone was virtual there. So why not take it into um YouTube slash streaming content, that's why Mm. And that's how it all came out to be like this. Uh. Makes sense. Um, I'm proud of you, son. Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. I'm your daughter. <laughs> uh, thanks, mom. I can't prove or disprove that. <laughs> I have you. It's fine, you know. It's fine as long as I have my mom's approval. Ta-da. Ta-da. Uh, um. Yeah, like as as far as like why I became a VTuber specifically, like my inspirations there, like um, Yui, uh, Kizuna Ai, Rhythm were three of the big ones. Uh, Kizuna Ai was kind of the the one that put it in in my head the idea that you know this is this is a potential format for skits, um, because a, a lot of a lot of uh, VTubers are very uh, gaming focused, and game and doing gaming content is a lot of fun, and like it's really good. But Kiss and I was the one that I saw that um, that also did uh, non gaming content, like sketch comedy content, and that was kind of what I was most drawn to. Um, so, so that that's kind of. Um, one of my big inspirations as far as like wh why why do uh vtubing as opposed to uh just general content creation and Moe does sketch comedy too and i love that yeah now we're all friends yeah, yeah. and i'm just a producer at this sketch point comedy too I did once, but then again, it was just humor that I found funny, so I understand if people don't watch that. I mean, I fucking made a high beast Hitler, so. <laughs> and Mel, I also put in Mel. Well, you, uh, also, you also throw in some, like, uh, sketch comedy sometimes at, like, the beginning of Emiko dance videos and stuff. Yeah, because I don't want to feel... I don't want to make the videos feel like I'm just making a half as product. I like everything to have some sort of, like, preamp, preamp to it. Mm -hmm. Like a little story before it, because if, if if I don't do that, it feels real empty to me, at least. Mm -hmm. um, yes, then again, I will be, just be some guy that either does some animations and camera shots or ports something from MD or makes animations using a special technique that I can't discuss, but it's based on neural networks. networks. He's a oh, yeah, that's very interesting. computer. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I actually feed stuff to an algorithm, and then it spits out an MMD animation, then I ask people to help me with refining it, so... Yeah. Mm. It's a very clever way, but I don't think people... Can, I don't think the average pe person can do it. Hmm. Um, so, so we've already kind of touched on s some of this already, but the, the, the last kind of phase... Uh, the last kind of thing I wanted to touch on was kind of trying to get yourself out there. Um, and I, I think, I think a lot of that is kind of like going over things that we've already mentioned. So we can kind of, uh, blaze through this phase. But, but one thing in particular I wanted to highlight is, uh, discord because the, the VTubing community is very, uh, the English VTubing community at, at the least is very active on discord. And yeah, like it's, I think it's very uh, helpful if you, if you're on discord and also, by the way, thank you all for the cookies. Thank you, Emiko, for, <laughs> for the cookies. 
Subtitles doesn't uh, eat cookies, but I'll eat them on her behalf. Um, but 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 uh, subtitles subtitles like s strawberries. But um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah yeah. So so like like Moe said earlier, the, the VTubing community is is a very friendly and open one. So like it it helps to be on Discord. It helps to talk to people. Uh, a lot of a lot of uh, VTuber discords do have like a channel where where it's okay to share your work, so you can so you can feel free to share your work there. And yeah, just um, oh, yeah. be yourself and talk to people, and you know, uh, try and, and you know maybe you'll make some friends along the way. Maybe you'll meet some people that want to do stuff with you. Um, maybe you'll be doing what's the friends we made along the way, huh? Yeah. Like that's the, I think that's the biggest thing I, I've gained through this is, is a lot of friends is I've made a lot of friends doing this. And that's kind of been the thing that I'm happiest with as a VTuber is, is having made all these friends. Keeps tagging me. Mm. Same here. Like getting to know on this community has been one of the biggest blessings I have ever had. So thank you guys yeah. for being here. And, yeah. And you, you uh, subtitles is indeed unhappy about her lack of a mouth. It's it's kind of it's a big sticking point for her that she doesn't have a body. So, but someday. Uh, and yes, there are a lot of Discord servers. Um, uh, like. Joining any of them is usually helpful because once you join one of them, you can usually find the other ones too. But but as a general rule of thumb, if there's a VTuber you're interested in, if you can join. They likely have a Discord server, so you could join their Discord server as a starting point. Yeah. And then if you want to, you can join others. You know, obviously, you got to do what you're comfortable with. Um. But yeah. Make sure you read that it is their Discord server, though. No? Because yes. I advertise the Discord server and it's more like for the alien fam as a whole. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Um, and then there's like a. Um, I think that's. Was there. A, did anyone want to say anything as far as like tips on getting getting stuff out there like how to because it is it is hard especially when you're Net getting started work getting and started. socialize lose your social inhibitions but don't be a creep mm -hmm. that's all i can advise i mean you can talk to people but please you're trying to talk and connect with people you're not trying to get them to shake your dick okay just be aware of that <laughs> thank you please thank you please think with your head and your heart not with your penis Thank you. Not with your have a penis. Well, with your coochie, I don't give a fuck. Just don't think with your genitalia. Make rational decisions, <laughs> talk to people, and please don't be desperate. Things will come as they need to come. You don't have to rush things. You don't have to be like some sort of people that is going to be like, I'm alone, I'm going to go on this alone dating by me. Fuck it, you'll get another chance. Just, just get up. And you keep moving on because you all says you all have you all you have to do you have to keep moving forward like a fucking drill hmm. on another note of like not sucking dick um if you're the I type to sucking dick what go ahead don't ignore it was it, it shaking ahead. it anyway shaking yeah oh i thought you were talking about don't suck dick huh huh anyway if you're the type to like donate to get people to like you more, I mean, don't get us wrong. We absolutely appreciate it, but don't use it as a method to like, you know, get into someone's DMs and like slide in there and use it as a sort of like ransom. Like, you know, please try not to bias. Donate if you would like to, 
but not so you can fuck us. <laughs> yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, I mean, we are still people. We are still someone. We still consent. It doesn't mean that you can buy us. We are not some fucking dendoroid, some fucking whore you can buy it off the street if you want to see it like that. <laughs> fuck you. You're oh, a fucking God. idiot if you are like that. Just be aware of that. There will be people that will approach you, that will try to use you as that because they want to get their rocks off, their socks off. They want to feel better because they don't have a mommy. They didn't drink breast milk. You know, they're going to be like that. So all you have to do is treat people res with respect. As a VTuber and as a fan, please. Long time, Sean. Control your control. Yeah. I don't know what that last word means, but I can glean from context. Me neither, actually. I yeah, never... um, especially in your book, don't know, uh, yeah. Yeah, like, oh. I've never heard that word before, but I, I am, I'm not asking for a, a definition either. <laughs> 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 Sorry, oh, I got that. I'll, uh, I'll cut it out. Control your control, Dan. Whatever that word is, what apparently, is? apparently... Uh, yeah. the YouTube oh, chat okay. is like having a field day with it. Like every time you type that word out, it's like, are you really sure you want to show this word? And I'm naively saying yes, just hoping that it is not the worst. Oh, it's Indonesian. Ever. Okay. It's now what? you know. Oh, okay. Pokemon. <laughs> well, we can just say it. I already said the word dick. Oh, is that what yeah. it means? Me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Was Ukimaka. there beyond beyond that? Was there anything else uh, anyone wanted to mention about about this? About wow, this the, of the like, bot really does not like that word. But dick yeah, the, bot, so loud, the bot's very it? much against it. No, I don't. Someone type dick and tell me if it's. <laughs> Okay, can we stop please talk can we please stop talking about dunks? Come on. I don't know I got a little bit excited there. Okay, but... so it's not allowed. Yeah. Okay. I guess I guess YouTube is just so smart and that people have typed it in another language. Okay, stop typing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, just, I, I, I'm just gonna start like saying no research. to it now. Yeah, this is for mod research. Greetings, dear yeah. future fat material. Okay, buddy, go fuck yourself. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> There okay. you go. I modded and I told them to do it in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much, if you are gonna be like that, go fuck yourself with the fucking spiky dildo. Thank you. It's really common sense, though. You would think that they wouldn't have the idea to do it. People but surprisingly, like, yeah, I, I don't know the mentality been, of it. There has been examples of people yeah. using donations as a it's kind of a, a way to try and win favor. I know we have we have gone through this. Some people will know about it, but we're just talking about the risks and stuff that you will see as a bit too red. That's one of them. Yeah, and uh, I think you're right, dude. I think it's kind of but, preaching to the choir. But you yeah. also have yeah, we to are. protect yourself from it because yeah. you're basically getting a donation. Okay, that's one thing. Treating you with respect. That's like, that's obvious. But you should be careful of who you open your communication with. Mm -mm. Like, I understand that, hey, this person just threw, like, a big giant wad of cash at you. But you're also, like, you, you need to be careful of opening up even more. And this is one of the reasons why I try to limit my public appearance. It's because anything I say could be taken out of context. Or, like, I might accidentally do something bad and it was completely unintentional. So basically cutting out contact to an extent is one way to protect yourself from misunderstandings or getting stalked. <laughs> yeah. Um out, outside of uh outside of that that particular thing, was there anything anyone wanted to add when it came to uh getting your stuff out there or Fuck creeps. That's all. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. No, no I'm going to get no muted at this point. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. I can ban you. <laughs> you <laughs> cannot <laughs> ban me. You, you and Moe, was there anything you either of you wanted to say? Oh, I already said, I already said, um, what, what, I already said what I needed to say. 
Okay. Uh, I don't think I should be repeating it because uh, it will draw up the chat again. Yeah, I already kind of exploded. I took the, the bullet for you guys. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to say you guys are good friends. Yeah, you guys are good friends too. You are my friend? Guys. Yeah, of course, course you're you a friend. Good, Why else would I make that pot order for you? Yeah. See, true, that's true. What? Why else would I talk to you guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, what else was I going to say? I, I don't know if there was anything else I was going to say, and we're, we're nearing the end of the stream. So while, while I think if there was anything else I wanted to say, uh, is there any questions that we didn't talk about that people had? If, if you have questions, feel free to ask them. Yes, Moe did, uh, Dibby's Pateru. I also yeah. did like a retouch of Jeet's padadu. His padadu is already great as is, but I thought I needed mm. French bread. Yeah, any questions? I will answer them in my usual style if you want. Uh, you, you, were, are, are you asking about, well, anything? Uh, Do you like your eggs to scramble the fried? No. Do you like Taco Bell? Go fuck yourself, Stellas. Father is all Uh, mm. hmm. I can, oh, my um, eggs? I can talk about the world building one a little bit. I do sunny side up. I'm too lazy for anything else. Hmm. Uh, I like my eggs. Uh, shit. What was it called? Uh, some, shit. Uh, <laughs> shit. So, uh, what, what, what was the thing when you, it's like, it's like, it's, it's very bubbly. Then when you poke it, 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 it explodes I, the yolk. Uh, I think you're shit. talking about poached eggs. Oh, oh yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. post it. Yes, yes, that's like you pending. Yeah, I like a Benedict <laughs> Florentine, which is basically when? a poached egg on like uh, a little muffin and then holiday sauce on top of it. Holiday sauce on top of it. You uh, know, I forgot I, I didn't eat dinner. No I didn't lunch. eat dinner either. I'm going to have to yeah, do that. You both? Chicken or beef? Beef. I go and freaking eat. I, well, I forgot. I was working on stuff. If I yeah, cut your skin out, will you die? Um, oh, I was going to talk about uh, worlds building just, just really quickly. So, uh, world be building is one of those things that if you're if you're writing, I guess, I guess it's true for any kind of story. It's especially hard. World building is especially important if you're doing like sci-fi or fantasy. Uh, just because if you're writing a story set in like an urban modern day setting then there's a lot of things you can assume the right the reader will know about um if you're if you're doing like a fantasy world then yeah there's typical fantasy tropes you can lean on but generally speaking you have to define the rules of your world um but you don't have to define it all at once so world building is something that you could uh, build over time, like for example, with pending, pending's in a void, so he, his world building is fairly simple. He's an AI, so he exists in a world of a, where like AI research has re reached a point where um, where something of his caliber can be made, uh, and um, and. And he makes references to current events slash modern things slash other VTubers and stuff. So basically the thing, the only thing that obviously differentiates his world from the real world is the fact that AIs are an actual real thing that are technologically viable in the sense of, of a pending is technologically viable in, in this world that he exists in. And those are the basic, basic rules of it. Um, from there, you keep, you expand. Like for example, Pending invented a teleporter, so part of, so now he can teleport other people to this void. Um, in in the the next Pending skit, which I I don't know exactly when it will be out, a couple days from now, hopefully. In the next Pending skit, there's going to be mentioned an entirely well, not entirely new technology, but a a newer technology that Pending now possesses. Um, so that would be like another thing of world building, actually, just to kind of, uh, I guess 
kind of self promo, but also speak to this. Uh, I have a playlist <laughs> on my ch on my channel called Pending Lore, and if you look at the Pending Lore videos, what differentiates them from like the typical pending skits is the Pending Lore videos have an element of world building in it, so it expands like the story of of it, and it's kind of slowly expands over time, at least ideally. And slowly expanding over time has the benefit of like allowing your audience to get used to something before some throwing something new at them. Um, so yeah, uh, world like that's kind of like just a very brief overview of world building, I guess. But world building can get pretty complicated. It can be something that you spend a lot of time thinking about before you ever get started if you're talking about like a novel or a television show or something but but for something as simple as what I'm doing which is like three to four minute skits the world building can kind of be built up as, as you go and it can be fairly simplistic because Penny doesn't really require a particularly complicated world to to exist to to do the story so uh yeah and, and similarly, if you wanted to do similar kind of comedy skits, you don't necessarily need to put a lot of thought into world building right off. Like the me, program. yeah. Like for for Dippy, his world building is that he is an alien race resembling uh, human chickens that has crashed mm -hmm. in here. He can't fix his spaceship, and he so has... we fuck around on Earth while we try to find stuff. Yes, yeah, yeah. So that that is basically the that is basically like his world building, and eventually he put out a skit where it tells a bit more backstory. So he's doing a bit more world building and stuff. So you know, uh, I guess in in this regard, world building is kind of like another word for lore, and like a lot of VTubers have their own lore. Like it, like Yui has has her own world building. She uh, too, in the sense that you know. Uh, her mission statement in her very first introduction video is she's a game, he, she's a gamer with the mission of oh, getting yeah. good, and that's, and like that's kind of like the thing that everything else was built off of, and a lot of, and because because Yui does streams and because, uh, it's, and because streams tend to have a lot more community involvement, a lot of Yui's lore and a lot of Yui's world building is kind of a give and take between what Yui might want and what her fans have decided for her. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna yeah. freaking stab you in the... Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. like, a lot, oh, a lot of, like, said. for example, <laughs> Yui's catchphrases are not phrases that Yui has decided for herself. I don't know. Seems something like a Yui would do. Yep. <laughs> 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 yep, I think she did. Oh, uh, God. Momiji has huh. the same... Uh, problem? Uh, yes, I was I was debating Momiji, whether or not to call it a problem. Momiji is a... But, but for example... It's a special case. Yeah, for example, Momiji has allowed her community to kind of take hostage her lore to the point where <laughs> I didn't know... I didn't know that Momiji wasn't supposed to be a demon lore. I thought that was part of, like, the initial I mission statement too. of Momiji because everyone said that she was a demon lord and she's become so accepting of the fact that people call her a demon lord that she herself starts to say it. So I just assumed that Momiji was always, like, I assume Momiji's, like, mission statement traits was she loves festivals and she's a demon lord. But apparently but she's yeah. not supposed to be a demon lord. She's no, not. Apparently me? that is something huh? that chat decided for her. And then I, she's wait, a Toho character. I knew it. Yeah, I knew I she never, was a Toho character. I never realized that she wasn't <laughs> supposed to be a demon lord she's until a she said in she's this a podcast guy. that, you know, it was the community that decided she's a demon lord. So, wait, you know, if you're wait, if you're oh, going to uh, do streams, I don't want to go I don't want to go see that. So, what, what okay, what was Nomiji supposed to be? Uh, she, I, I think her original thing was she comes from virtual overseas, she loves festivals, and she wants to, I guess, communicate with people from around the world. I think that was, like, the basis of her mission statement. Oh, no. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just say that she was an actual demon lord, like, pirate to dead. Was she? Yeah. 
and uh, she still decided it. But then, you know, Chad icked it out, and then uh, it became, like, even more official, I guess. And, mm. Like, it became more firm. But apparently, she was a demon lord, Pyre. Really? Oh, okay. It was in her intro video. Was it in her... Wait, was it in her intro video? Like, the oh very first... Oh, my God, that's... The... Okay, I'm going to avoid saying anything, anything dumb. Sorry, Mommy G, if you ever watch this. <laughs> well, uh, I might be wrong about that. But regardless of whether or not the demon lord thing was... A, was like part of her initial canon or not it is fair to say that um that chat has determined things about momiji that she did not herself consent to well i think a better example is maple and how one joke of mine and ended up making him a, a giraffe, giraffe too yes. <laughs> he was always a oh, giraffe Canadian. i knew he was his soul yes but the canadian thing was his fault because he he called himself maple yeah that's true he <laughs> yeah, was. That's yeah. Yeah. so so yeah the the defining traits of Maple is he has it is he has an extremely long neck. He's from Canada, and he's the sponsor of the Maple Story. And none oh, of yeah. that is true. I guess I guess we can like wrap things up. Does anyone want to say some say goodbye? Oh hi! Did to pay attention to chat and play games at the same time? Whoa! Shit! Um. Oh, it's okay. I've been photoshopping at the same time anyway. I was looking at some stuff. Yes, to, uh, to answer Lafang's question, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes it can get really hard, um, especially on texting games like uh, Ace Combat, where I always have to be wary of what I'm doing in there. As you saw, uh, when I first tried Ace Combat and tried to focus on the chat at the same time, you saw where that led me to. Yeah. Freaking round. That's why, um, that's why uh, it's actually pretty tough. So if, sometimes what I tend to do is that um, when I know, I'm not going to be engaged in something. I would actually look at the chat just to answer the chat and interact with the chat. So it's actually pretty tough, but you get used to it after a certain time. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mola, Mola, I don't think we have information on that. Sorry. Uh, information on... on uh, how do you contact like B2B companies? What is the process requirements? I don't think that's a thing here in the West. Uh, and you will need no, Japanese. Not. Yeah, it's, it is not. It is not. Sorry. Mm -hmm. None of us, I mean, we do talk with some Japanese VTubers at least, but as in applying to companies, I don't think that's a thing, unless yeah. you're Japanese. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I imagine each company is different, mm -hmm. so the process and requirement for each are going to be different. Yeah, <laughs> and with, with some, with some obvious exa uh, exceptions, most uh, VTubers on the English side are independent, independent. Like, yeah yeah the the are people that decided i i want to be a vtuber and they just started vtubing uh they didn't they, they didn't and or don't have a uh, company backing obviously there's exceptions to that but that's the that's speaking like a ma majority term and also also going back to yui's point of um how hard it is to talk to chat and play a game at the same time some of Yui's more famous clips are her getting distracted by chat and like either crashing her plane or walking off a cliff. <laughs> to so. be fair, it depends on the game too. Yes, and Yui does. also plays really fast paced games. Yes. Yeah, I've been thinking about defending me. Oh my god. Yeah, no, no, I'm not I'm not criticizing you. It's, <laughs> it's extremely hard. In fact, I thought you we were going to say, oh, I'm not defending you. <laughs> I'm not going to no, defend honestly, Yui. She can't defend herself. Honestly, Yui, you, your ability. Your abilities at games like genuinely impresses me because you are a much talented, a much more talented person at games than me. And the fact that you can do that, and you can be uh, talking to chat as much uh, as so much as well, it's it's very impressive. Yeah, you, you need to give yourself you. more credit, Yui. Oh, yeah, I yeah think you're I'm, good. I'm, I'm being mean so hard that I naturally think I'm bad now. Oh no, people are uh, just like you, that. Yeah, they're yeah. just memeing. Don't worry, you're way better. I know, than I know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Besides, we'll, we'll always be here to tell you you're good if you need like a pep talk. Uh huh. Thank you, boy. Um, uh, and and hi, Alex Fox. It's going well. Uh, the, we're we're just wrapping up now. I'm sorry. Um, so, so yeah, I I guess I guess let's I guess we should probably. Do goodbyes. Uh, uh, Yui, did you want to say anything before we head off? Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm not your good. Okay. I, yeah. Debbie, did you want to say anything? 
Uh, seen anything regarding this stream? No, I, I think well, you, I already said everything. You can say everything. whatever you want. Like, if there was something you wanted to talk about that's happening soon or anything like that. Uh, well, I'm trying to get some funds for Emiko's laptop, but mm -hmm. that's going to be on the 16th. But we also have this uh, VTubers for tr Team Trees. Yes. That's going to uh, be a thing. Yeah. VTubers so that's why I feel like an edge to say, hey, guys, I need help to get this for Emiko. Now that Black Friday is going to roll in, I, wanna, I want to help. So it's mm. less expensive. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we have that. So donate to whatever yeah. you want. I'm just going to do that. Yeah. That makes sense. And, and yeah, so we got we got your your uh, stream to raise money for Emiko's laptop on the 16th. And it is yeah. your one year anniversary too, right? Yes, as well. Yes, that's yeah. correct. I, mean, I can't believe I have been doing this shit for one year. But mm. here we are and I'm having fun. Yeah. So thank you guys. <laughs> Yeah, and also as Dippy said, on the twenty third, uh, we are, we are, uh, Argama is leading it, and we are all participating in it, doing, um, a a, uh, very, I I think I think it's something like twelve hours. Uh, we're we're basically doing a twelve hour stream where different people are going to be coming in and coming out of it. Uh, where we're uh the goal is to raise money for team trees which is basically a charity to to uh plant trees uh i think i think their mission statement is each dollar raised will equate to one tree planted oh that's uh, really nice i think it's five dollars oh I yeah that makes sense every dollar let me let me make sure i i'm talking about team trees um and let me look this up Okay, uh, what does it say? Uh, yep. Help us plant 20 million trees around the globe by January 1st, 2020. Um, and does it say... Do they say on their page... Okay, let me check their facts. Um, for every dollar you donate, one tree will be planted... In a forest of high need around the globe. Uh, okay, so so yeah, yeah, and it's the Arbor Day Foundation, by the way, that Team Trees is working with to do this. So so yeah, that that's the thing that we're uh, trying to raise money for on the twenty third. And and like I said before, Argama is the one that's leading it. Uh, if you go to Argama's Twitter, there's more details and stuff. Um, and. Uh, 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 Moe, was there anything you wanted to say? Um, I'm working on merch, if that's of interest. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mo Moe's <laughs> working on merch. It's, it looks good. It's, it's good stuff. Um, yeah. Check out her merch when it comes out. And, and it's actually made by me. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I saw as outside of like the commissioning of art. So, so yeah, custom made by yours truly. Yep. If you're interested. Yes. Moe has been working super hard on that. Maybe. Yep. I'm cheap. But yeah, I'll promote it when it comes out. Yeah. Don't worry. I am going to get a mug. And, uh, oh, a do you want to answer, Moe, do you, you want to answer Tara's question or do you want that to be a secret? Um, what was the question? If, if it's posters. If there's posters. Oh, yeah, there's. I'm planning on getting a second poster right now. I already have one made. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, like, you know, uh, each artist has their own queue. So I have to keep getting in line and looking for specific artists who are available. So it's it's kind of like based on time, on, on their time, too. Mm -hmm. And, um, Will and, DP be allowed to boom yeah. the chat next stream? Yes. And and I'm pending. You're already here. Um, and yeah, I make skits. Uh, I stream sometimes too, as I am right now. Um, and yeah, if, if you like, if you like sketch comedy, you can watch some of my skits. Um, and I don't think I have anything in particular uh, to point towards. Oh, I might be. It, it's still in the early stages of planning. But um, um, I'm uh, hoping to make a little mini series 
uh, by miniseries, basically what I mean is like a few skits in a row. And I'm not entirely sure how many skits in a row because I haven't written it yet. I just, I've just kind of have the concept of it and I've been kind of trying to figure out how viable it is and what kind of limitations I'd have. Um, but yeah, a few skits in a row that follow like an overarching plot. Uh, it'll probably be a, a little less comedic than a normal one. It won't be like, I don't know if people have seen when I did like the visual novel style one, it won't be quite that heavily skewed towards drama, but it'll be more drama and, and less comedy than your typical pending thing. And it'll be a bit more, and the idea of it is that uh, uh, it'll move the, the pending story to kind of like uh, forward. And I guess in a way a next phase, although I don't know if it's fair to call it a next phase. Like, I don't know if enough is going to change for it to be a next phase. But but there, there will be, if this works right, there will be lasting repercussions of, of this, like, little mini... Yeah, exactly, plot progression. There will be lasting repercussions of this little miniseries if if I get to a point where I'm happy enough with the writing so that I will start the miniseries. Because the, the one thing I'm trying to do is make sure that um, that that the entire miniseries is written and I'm happy about it before I start any of the miniseries. Uh, so, so, so we'll see. Like, worst case scenario, uh, I end up not doing the miniseries and there will be some plot progression anyways because there's one thing that's going to happen in the not-too-distant future. Um, oh, there was a thing. Uh. Oh, right. more uh, and more. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, sorry. Subscribing? Yeah. Subscribing oh! <laughs> I see it, I see it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, usually there's the, the there's the pending coming out of the thing, but that's okay. Um, So, sorry. Yeah. You, was there something you wanted to say? Yeah, I, I kind of remember. I wanted to, to say something. Um, So, uh, on my side, um, I'm actually planning for two activities coming up uh, later this month. Mm-hmm. Which involves the release of uh, my lucky, but uh, first being in a popular Ace Combat Seven uh, tournament with mm -hmm. a physical prize this time. Which Again? Is, um, okay, yeah. Good. But, well, it's but been, this time it's we have been a physical actually like prize. six months or something since your last tournament. Yeah. So no, with a real physical prize, the physical prize is the lucky itself. The the winning oh. the winning team mm -hmm. will have a ducky I'll, I'll probably announce it next week and then the next thing is um in the chat zai has created a wall and the wall uh, i intend to like um put everyone's uh, models inside all my friends mm -hmm. but there will be a treasure hunt in that wall as well and the person who wins that treasure hunt also receives uh my ducky but uh those announcements will yeah, like later towards the end of the month, so y'all can look forward to that. Cool. So there'll be two different activities, and both of them are an opportunity to to win the 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 docky. Yeah. Cool, cool. Regarding the the wall, can they just give you a PNG or something? Because obviously, I'm like part of a company, so I can't give that shit out. <laughs> so I said, uh, we got to what? Um, I remember the request that you wanted VRM files for it or something. Oh, right, shit. Yeah, you can just, yeah, PNG is fine. Okay, I'll give you my eggs. <laughs> yeah, that works as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't scramble them. Scramble, boy. Nice. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, no lid, no lid. <laughs> okay. All right, thank you. I think that's everything. Did anyone else want to say something before we end the stream? I'll take that silence as, no. as a no. So thank you all uh, so yeah. much. Huh? Oh, no, I'm thinking of food, yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you guys all so much for coming. I hope you all have a good day slash night. And, and yeah, um, if you have any other questions uh, or, or stuff, feel free to reach out. Uh, Just uh, ask me to my face, people, and I will answer. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can, ask, you can ask Dippy or me or, or who, whomever on, like, Discord or Twitter or what, what, whatever, and, and yeah, we will see you all again soon. I hope. Thank you, thank you for coming.
Bye bye. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having us. Thank you for yeah. Thank you for being here. <laughs>